Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by The Org Boss. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, interior design, inventory staging, business processing documentation, and more. Reach The Org Boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email to info at theorgboss.com. Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 732-7789. Hey, yo, what's good, my peeps? And welcome back to Startup Masters. That's right, the place where you're going to get the riveting content. We're going to drop gym after gym. And we're going to have dope guests that will grace our table each and every Tuesday at 6 p.m. I'm your girl, Kalia Guillory, also known as KG. You can follow me on the book, The Gram, at KOG Speaks. And even for my YouTubers out there, check me out at KOG Speaks TV. I'm so glad you decided to come through because we're going to have such an incredible show i could already feel it in my spirit because i ain't even gonna spill i ain't gonna spill the season gee gee what what's up, up g what's what up, up g? you know what's up let me let me start by saying this boom tiff treats okay so for those who come in on the show and y'all want hey, you come empty-handed we got problems because some <laughs> people know how to act what's your home training folks what's up good people welcome back to startup masters i am your co-host gary lee also known as g hawkins of course you can find me anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with a Z. And we're back here each and every week kicking these gems to you about that startup life. I don't know where you've been. I don't know where you're headed. But this table right here has all the gems you need for mm. a successful business. And if I'm if I'm if I was aware come and on. awake. Come on, cause you woke. Game, cause you woke. <laughs> I heard some stuff that I was like, wait a minute, where's my virtual pen and pad? I need that. Listen, I'm ready. I'm ready with a capital D. Exactly. Well, I'm going to let you do this. Let's get this popping, KG. What's up? Listen. Talk about it. I met this cat Hmm. not even six months ago, I don't think, at an event. But we knew each other via social media, the power of social media, making Mm -hmm. sure your brand aligns so people could want to meet you in person. Hmm. This cat dropped game when I met and was like, hey, have you considered X, Y, Z? And Talk I said, about it. well, hmm. maybe I should. <laughs> Did a follow-up meeting, roundtable style. I walked away with so many gems in my pocket, I had a pocket full of stones. Ooh, shout out to you, GK. Hold on, you're going to take me back. You're going to take me back. Okay, okay. When mm-hmm. I left, I really was walking from the front back and the side to side because Ooh. I couldn't understand what just <laughs> happened. We talked about so much stuff. Like, seriously, G, like, put me on. Talk about mm-hmm. level up. Talk about it. This, this consultant, this professional speaker mm. this lover of humanity Oof. you know Oof. who i'm talking about i'm talking about tracy seals what also known as tracy speaks y'all what's up tracy hello 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 and thank you both for having me here on startup masters i am so pleased to share the information with your audience and hopefully the takeaways that they take away is leveling up your game come yes. on and leveling up your entrepreneur inspiration and come on. basically leveling up to be a startup master hey, hey. There it is. see that she, tag she that right tag. on point she that right on brandon point. i don't even need to be here come on I'm brandon take your jacket off and you can have that one for free <laughs> i'm gonna rewind the tape listen on that. listen mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, thank you again for joining us. It's, it's always a pleasure, one, to have great spirits in the building. Mm-hmm. Because, 
you walked in and I was already excited. I was like, how did I just get excited all of a sudden? I saw the, the intern and I was like, no, nah, no excitement there. Shout out to the intern. <laughs> but when you walked through the door, I was like, wait a minute. And the spirit just follow right in with you. So I already knew mm. it was going to be on and popping. KG, when I tell you, I know. I you know. know. And then I saw the Tiff Treats. That Come was on, it. people. I just put it up again <laughs> for y'all. I it. saw the Tiff Treats and I know it was popping. So. I don't know if you're familiar with what we do, but let me break it down simply. We like to take a journey. Mm -hmm. We like to take that entrepreneurial roller coaster and start from the early stages and beginnings of your journey, of your walk through this, this tough terrain, believe it or yes. not, folks, tough terrain. We like to make a pivot stop right where you are today and then conclude with that 5, 10, 20 year plan. What's your future insight, outlook, and foresight Mm -hmm. is going to be at. You ready to take that journey with us today? I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's do it. Well, let's rewind the tape. Okay. Our DeLorean. Hop in 88. the DeLorean. 88. Exactly. We're going to take <laughs> it back in time. Let us know what was going on in your life when Tracy decided to speak. Mm. Hmm. So when I decided to speak, it was because I was working in corporate America, and someone told me, Two weeks ago, I'm a renaissance woman. Oh. And I'm like, oh, okay, come Hold come on. through. I, I, I'm feeling it because sure my do. background is actually in, well, my background originally started in education. Okay. Um, I have two undergraduate degrees and my master's, but mm. my first undergraduate was going to be literary arts. I come from a family of educators, and I went to go teach, but I learned very quickly <laughs> I don't like other people's children. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so that's that the was, hook right there. I don't. I really don't like your kids. I'm gonna just keep so, it a right. book. I so, don't like. Yeah, it. that was not gonna work out for me. Yeah. So I, I, I said, okay, well, let me go back to school. I know I can go back to school. You know, um, I was smart. Mm -hmm. um, went to medical school. Uh, finished medical school, not to be a doctor. I became an orthopedic physician assistant. Uh, one of the doctors thought I should go to medical school. He was going to actually pay for me to take the MCAT. But I'm like, I really don't like patients like that. <laughs> <laughs> Kids or patients. <laughs> so, um, but I'm like, but sponsor me to become your PA. Mm. And by you doing it, I'll work for your group. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you know what? That's even better. It's cheaper. Easy fix. So did that. But in the effort of doing that, I just needed more. And then we were going to these different surgery centers, different hospitals, mm -hmm. and I just didn't like how the people were running it. I'm like, I can do this better than they can, so mm. let me go back to school again mm. so I can run the hospital. Mm. <laughs> Tracy goes back to school. So I'm going to put a pin right there because I think a lot of times people miss their opportunity to take something and elevate it. Mm -hmm. and, and do that. What well, we, we, we said earlier, and I think somebody on, uh, on Facebook said level up, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to want to level up a situation or that circumstance that you're surrounded by. Because sometimes that's where your breakthrough is. Shout out to the breakthrough. Yes. I'm going to just pin that. Shout yes. out to the breakthrough. But come on, take us on this journey. So after I did that and went to school, got my MBA, started working in the hospital, started working in administration. Ooh, that's a lot of degrees, child. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and But then I was like, I still had a power passion to teach and inform individuals. So I was um, fortunate to get a job um, starting up an actual school mm -hmm. and writing the curriculums. And this took me to the East Coast where I lived for five years, up and down the East Coast, writing curriculums, helping schools uh, start up, getting the accreditation, um, helping to train people, getting the staff employed. And then I got into the register of ops and compliance portion of it um and i was like okay i'm learning all these new things in all these new cities i think i can go back home and you know charge people for Make my experience it <laughs> hold on hold on first Listen. and foremost i'm over here thinking you like 28 30 years old and you didn't been all over the the world and i yeah yeah with, yeah. 20, with 20 degrees, with 20 degrees. <laughs> I'm like, where'd she get all this time from? <laughs> you got all the time in your back pocket? What's going on, Benjamin cool. Button? You know what? I am not afraid to share my age because I don't know what Come final on. youth that I was dipped into, but I just made 45. Shout out to the, the trio of Scorpios in the room right That's now. What it is. Come on. Huh. So, um, yeah, but the thing about it is, 
I, everything I did, I did consistently. I never stopped. I never stopped. I never stopped. Yeah. Team No Sleep hmm. was always in effect and is still in effect today. So, I mean, my thing is, you know, my mom used to ask me before she passed away, Tracy, when will you sleep? I said, well, I guess when I'm dead, that's enough time to sleep Literally. Shout out to Jay-Z. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm like, I'm doing everything. I said, but, but I'm doing it for the family unit. Yeah. And then not only that I'm doing it for the family and the unit, but there are people out here who need this expertise that I'm giving them. And if I can charge for it, mm-hmm. even better. Mm. So I'm with that. But but did did y'all catch? Did you peep it? I can charge for this expertise. It's because she can, because you got the expertise. You put in the work. Yes. We on the show here believe, and there's other experts and scholars that say you got to put in ten thousand hours. Ten thousand. For you to be deemed a subject matter expert in your hmm. said industry, hmm. clearly you have put in the hours. I probably put in more. twenty thousand yeah, hours, more. maybe fifty you know, over exactly. years. You know, exactly. <laughs> that's, all, that's all. That's all. That's happening right now. You just you're, you've racked up these time. You've racked up this education, and now you've made it profitable for self that knowledge transfer that someone poured into you Mm -hmm. you're not pouring into others making things more efficient you already called it from jump i can run this hospital better than you can Mm -hmm. you already called it from jump and and that is the sign the rock the pillar of true entrepreneurism and what else i'm 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 willing to bet Hmm. is that you organize take it there I am very organized, you know, working in the surgical realm, it makes you a little bit OCD. <laughs> and, you know, it also helps you with time management, which is very important in entrepreneurship that you have to have time management. Come but on. I literally, literally every day before I, when I wake up, I pray and I meditate. But I also ask for the strength to make sure that, you know, I have everything focused. And because I have to have focus, because yeah. I will literally forget stuff. And when I first started my entrepreneurial journey, I would double book myself for speaking engagements. And people call me, you know you're supposed to be here, right? I'm like, where is here? <laughs> <laughs> and I had, I implored my sister, my older sister. I implored her three times, fired her out three times. <laughs> That's we gonna put a we pin gotta, in We got to put a pin in that because I need that. to know what happened with this. <laughs> yes, yes. So, but, you know, I, I, time management is really one of those big things. Um, also having that ability to make sure that you rest mm. and and refocus and regenerate yourself for Ooh. the next for the next task we gonna and talk i'm about very that. task orientated okay so um again it comes with the ocd that i have i mean my when i lived in jersey my roommate shout out to jessica and, and shout out to you know jersey up top jersey stand up she would um we had this shower caddy this three-tier shower caddy and she would go and switch the bottles and not face the same Listen, way. That drives me and crazy. She would hear, and she would hear me same screaming. Same with the refrigerator. She would hear me screaming and she would just, I just hear her in her room just laughing and cracking up because she knew that would mess up my OCD. And it would just throw out the whole shower. I don't want you to take a shower no more. Let me just go ahead and get out the shower. You know, spe- speaking of time management, some entrepreneurs might not have said skill set. And if you find that self being you, well, this portion of the show is sponsored by the org boss. Mm. Has the clutter in your home or office gotten out of hand? Are you sick and tired of spending way too much time trying to find the things you need on a daily basis? If so, then give the org boss a call so that she can help you create organized, functional systems that match your personal lifestyle. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, home staging, interior design, space planning, inventory staging, and business process documentation for growing businesses looking to formally document their procedures. Call the Org Boss today, like right now, at 832-617-0624. Or send an email to info at the org boss. Of, you know, right before, right, right before our ad, we talked to, we put a pin in. You fired my sister, your sister three times. <laughs> you, wait, you hired her three times, and, and then you her fired three her three times. times. All three, all three. <laughs> Let's, yeah, yeah. Just so we're clear. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about some of those 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 learning opportunities. We mm. don't believe in mistakes, but just learning opportunities that you might have gotten along the way. 
Oh my gosh. And I, incorporate this story with the sister so I can get <laughs> it. Because we want to know. It's, it's <laughs> right. I, I've gotten so many learn have had so many learning opportunities and I'm still continuing to learn things um on my venture for entrepreneurship. So I was doing a lot of public speaking at the time um for uh, health and wellness. Um, and then I started doing public speaking for business strategies. I do have an undergrad in Mark and I've got to throw that out there. So, so what number 10? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So, alphabet. Um, <laughs> All of None them. but alphabet. <laughs> but my focus has always been consistent business and startups and things of that nature. But um, mm-hmm. so I was at an event, right? We'll never bring this, this event up because it was just one of those just travesty events. And um, it was a, a day show. Um, had my table, you know, had the vendor booth and everything set up. And my sister... Her only job was to <laughs> ask the people come up to the table. One, one job. <laughs> one requirement. Record me. Go live. That's how you got to do. I'm paying you for it. You got the branded shirt on. And I'm going to feed you after this event. And you get a meal. And you get a meal. <laughs> so I, I, Bonus. I think I'm a good boss, right? Yeah. So as people are coming up, she's like, you know, she, she recorded me, I think, like twice. And she disappeared. The event was only for three hours. My sister disappeared for an hour and a half. And she came back and said, you know, oh, they have this here. They have that there. They have this here. The girl had a facial. She a patron. She went got her, makeup, swag, her makeup done. <laughs> she found some food that was there. She bought, she, um, bought some earrings. So the hell with your lunch. All that stuff, right? <laughs> and then she said, oh, but I bought you something. I'm like, I do not want no candle wax. <laughs> On your dime. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I only gave you one job to do, and that's all you had to do. First time. Second time, she was not keeping my planner together, mm. so I was getting double booked. And so I said, well, we can't have this. You know, that's money that I could be getting and also opportunities for advancement in, you know, my career. So I'm like, you can't, you can't do this. And this, so, I, you, know, she was, you know, she needed some, you know, me to help her with some things. So third time. She doesn't show up for work. Mm. She didn't call. She no call, no, <laughs> no show. Call, no no show. <laughs> I'm calling her phone. She not answering the phone. I'm knocking at her door. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. They not answering though. I'm like, I can hear y'all in the background. I'm knocking at the door. I'm like, I can see y'all moving. I can see y'all telling the babies. Shh. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so it's like, you know what? Okay, I am done. I love you. As my sister, but I'm gonna have to love you from a distance yeah. as it relates to my business and my brand. Yeah. So I just couldn't do it anymore. That was a learning opportunity. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Cause you, yes. you you're not gonna hire her for the fourth time. I'm guessing. <laughs> not happening. Not happening. So yeah. So but, but now I'm just pretty much doing everything solo. Mm-hmm. Um, my notifications are basically my my personal assistant, and I we do um, for Elevated Women. We have two volunteers to kind of help us with our scheduling and everything, and they are so wonderful. So shout out to Danielle, shout out to Nika. Thank mm. you guys for helping us with the things that we do for Elevated Women. That's what's up. So let's let's actually take this mm-hmm. moment right now to pivot a little bit and let's talk a bit about Elevated Women. Talk a little bit about where things are at today. Give us some insight in what's going on. So Elevated Women um, is. Uh, a group that was started by my president, Fontana Smith. We actually started this group a year ago. Mm-hmm. She and I met on social media. Mm-hmm. So she said, if I start a group, um, what would you guys want to see in the essence of this group? And I'm like, okay, this sounds good. You know, it looks like it may be something that I want to take a part of. So mm-hmm. um, I had DM'd her and I said, hey, let's host a networking event. Mm-hmm. And this is a young lady we have on the screen right now? Yes. Talking about? Okay. Yes. So we hosted a networking event and from there, I said, well, let's do something else. So we start hosting monthly networking events highlighting entrepreneurs. Mm. Um, we don't charge them. Okay. Um, only thing that we do charge, if we have vendors at the event, of course, we charge the vendors to, sure. um, to sell their product. But we do this um, every month and we we have um, actually are getting an award for the top 10 um, entrepreneurs in Houston this Thursday. Better do it. Come on, top 10. Um, yes, and yeah. I am getting um, another award on the 8th for uh, Boss Lady of the Year, one Sweet. of those awards. So. Boss. 
<laughs> She's a boss. So it's like, okay, okay. So I'm so proud of you because mm-hmm. I know, I know that just didn't happen. No, you it, it, it did for that. Yes, I mean, you know, when you're at your house and your team no sleep, and mm. I would never tell any entrepreneur to quit their day job. You bet not quit your day job. Nope. We call um, them copreneurs. That's yes, what we call those mm-hmm. bad boys. Yes, yeah, so it's like you know, continue to, to work your job and continue to do the things you're doing until you build up that you know that funding, build up that that following, build up those intricate things that are going to help you sustain your business. And that's the most important thing is business sustainability. Mm-hmm. And when I first started, I was like, okay, I made that mistake. I'm like, I'm going to quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as the clients weren't coming in and that money wasn't coming in, and I'm having to turn in my Mercedes and get a Pontiac vibe, then <laughs> those life got real, life got real, 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 fast. real quick. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'm on the phone. My dad's a minister, and I'm talking to my dad. I'm like, daddy, I don't want them to repo my car. <laughs> and real. my dad's like, uh, you better go take it back and get you something else go trade it in get you something cheaper <laughs> yeah. and i'm like okay i can do that you know but then i went um got a part-time job you know teaching um at houston community college where i, I still teach now and i've been doing that for like the past two years and to have that steady influx and then having these networking events and hosting these um getting these venues that stuff isn't really cheap a lot of times people you know, they see all the extravagance that we put mm. into it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, uh, but we pay for this out of pocket. So, and, you know, we do get some sponsors, you know, to come in. We do get sure. the fees from the vendors. But a lot of the stuff that goes into our business is pretty much um, myself and Fontanet, mm-hmm. everything that we do um, for our business. So it's like, yeah, you, you know, our, a lot of times businesses are not successful until they're in that second year. Sure. And we just made our first year. So Congrats. we're getting the recognition, we're getting yeah. the following, and we're getting the influx of finances. But we're not at that pivotal point that we can say, okay, quit the <laughs> nine to five. Yeah, you just <laughs> add, sprinkle a little time yes. on that. That's right. all that exactly. is. Exactly. And it's, it's definitely coming. Um, but then what do you do when you get booted out of corporate America? Mm. So Talk on it. When you get booted out of corporate America... You basically will go and get any job that you have to go and get. True. So when I was Buddha I Call America and I'm not too proud for anything that I do, I went and got a job at Walmart. Gotta do what you gotta do. So it's like, okay, I mean, my job at Walmart was very, very cushy and everything like that, but it's like, okay, I know I still have bills, I know I still have to keep the lights on. And this weave Honey, <laughs> and these nails are costly, so I'm like, I'm not going to deprive myself of my lifestyle. Exactly, <laughs> because I was booed out of corporate America while I'm still making strategic moves in my business. Listen, you gotta make strategic listen, moves. You gotta make strategic, but but moreover, what are you what are you willing to sacrifice? Mm, ask the question. What are you willing to sacrifice for said strategic moves? We talked about basically turning in a bins mm-hmm. before it got repo so mm-hmm. it wouldn't get repo we talked about working at walmart mm-hmm. and, and even taking an adjunct or professor position mm-hmm. just to you know keep that lifestyle going mm-hmm. like what like tell us like what what are you willing to sacrifice i know there was some big sacrifice around this table come on I'm I still mean, feel like I'm sacrificing. <laughs> let me let me peel the onion. Clear. If we be clear, if we go cut that you know, onion to the team, no crying. Man. Come on, man. But we, I think that's what we miss sometimes is that we think entrepreneurship is if we go on Instagram and we see it's it's flashy, it's mm-hmm. gaudy. You're gonna mm-hmm. immediately be hot. Mm-mm. We forget that those those th- those pivotal moments on your journey is what mm-hmm. helps you get to your success even quicker and appreciate it even quicker. Yes, yes. And I tell um, students who when I go to speak to them about their businesses and everything i said just because you're wearing gucci frames does not give you vision mm. Ooh. y'all can keep that one <laughs> Woo! 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 oh hold yeah, on yeah yeah uh, yeah get that i'm gonna let I you get that that's while gonna I, be my recap I, speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of which if you need good vision bring your advertisement right here to the sphere this particular portion is sponsored by us sitting at this round table are you starting your business or Looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, 
and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at thesphere.tv. Now, you hit us with that one, and you talk <laughs> about vision, and I want to talk about some of these other factors that are surrounding the table. When we think about entrepreneurship and we think about people who go to conferences, and you, as you all are building this network and catalog, so to mm-hmm. speak, obviously there are a lot of other people that are in your space trying to do something very similar. What's that X factor about you all? that make y'all stand apart from everyone else? What makes um, myself and Fontanette of Elevating Women stand apart from everyone else, our only competition is we're our competition. Mm. Mm. You know, because what we do within our company, we do graphic design, we do logos, we do branding, image consulting, I do SEO, which is search engine optimization for those who um, are not aware with that. And we also help you with your business development for nonprofit and for-profit services. Um, so a lot of female companies that are out there, they're not doing that, um, that inside component, but mm. we're also highlighting other entrepreneurs and empowering them to be successful because we cannot have elevating women empowerment group and not stick by what our phrase and our mission is and our mission is to empower entrepreneurs for success in the different industries because kg doesn't do what i do you don't do what i do but together cohesively Hmm. that synergy that we can provide Hmm. into the entrepreneurial world it's going to be phenomenal it will be we could put stuff on a whole different paradigm and I put a post up on um, Instagram the other day that Jesus had 12 disciples, 12 disciples that followed him until his death. And we can't get individuals to follow us to the corner. Come on. Because of people have malicious intent. They always want to be in competition with someone else. But my thing is, it's enough food on the plate for all of us to win. And like when I met KG some months ago. And I instilled all the information to her. And I'm like, you can have this for free because I want you to succeed. Mm. And and by your success, I'm sitting back. I'm succeeding by your success. And not only that, every time I'm in conversation about the gems that I got, mm-hmm. I'm always pointing them back to Tracy. Yeah. So it comes full circle, right? So it's almost like it, we 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 squash this whole queen bee syndrome, mm-hmm. where exactly. it's like, nah, I ain't gonna help you because then you're gonna get what I got. No, it's like I'm gonna help you because mm-hmm. we all gonna get what we got. Exactly, exactly, and, and that's and that's a that's a key point. That's a thing that um, makes elevating women different from other individuals out there. That we authentically want others to succeed, mm. whether we're getting money from it or not. We just want y'all to succeed, and we want to break down that camaraderie that women can't work together. Women of color can't work together, even though elevating women is globally brand, branded, and we have women of all different nationalities sure. but we just want individuals of the of women to just unify and work together mm-hmm. and break down that barrier that women cannot do that and you know and so far like i said we've been very successful in doing it and the success is good the success is important because that tells you that you're on the right track mm-hmm. I like i think a lot of people get excited or they get high on success but success should be that that compass so to speak to say okay I'm going the right direction. Mm-hmm. I need to put more effort here. Mm-hmm. My Whatever it is that I'm trying to do is currently working. Mm-hmm. Let me pour more into that. With all that pouring into it, what are you then doing to pour back into self? What are you doing when, when Tracy steps away, when Fontanette steps away from the table? What's happening for you to rejuvenate those batteries so you can then pour back into all these entrepreneurs? We every time we have a, a, a an event and it's a really good event, we go to the spa. I'm like, hey, spa day. <laughs> hey. What you doing? Hey, let's go. You know, it's a date. Let's, let's go. It's a party. Yeah. It's a, you party. Know, it's a spa party. Spa day. We do brunch. You know, because we have to really, if we don't pat ourselves on the back, who's going to do it Come for on. us? So you know, she has my back. I have hers, and we pat each other. You know, ourselves on the back. You know, to congratulate our effort and what we did. We um, recently. We had a lady reach out to us. She wanted to franchise Elevating Women in, in California. I'm like, hold on. Come on. Time out. Franchise. Mm. Um, can we build it in Houston first? <laughs> Before hey. we, 
you know, let us get the king side before we get in one to try to take over another chapter somewhere else. I'm like, mm-hmm. we're 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 want to get there. We're not there yet. And then I'm all about branding. Mm. So if it's something with our our brand on it, and especially you know with my name on it, it's going to have to be you know sufficient. It's going to have to be done the right way. So I'm just not going to let you take our brand and say, okay, we're going to open up this chapter somewhere else, and it's not effectively done. I feel that. That was a gem in that. Come on. And the gem was, uh, oftentimes as entrepreneurs, we get caught up on, oh, I'm going to step over this dollar to get to this check. Mm-hmm. When really that dollar, we pick it up and put it in our pocket and love on it, it's going to be more than that check. It's going to have more zeros than that check ever could possibly have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something special to be said, especially in our community and our culture, is that we get caught up in squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Mm-hmm. But we don't realize, like, we got to take our time with this. Mm-hmm. This, 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 is gonna, this is something that's not going to happen overnight. Absolutely not. It's something that won't happen overnight. I know a spa day is good after you had your event. But what are you doing to protect your creative space, to mm-hmm. make sure that you're staying in present? You were staying in flow. You were staying in your juju so that you can be sharp. You can decide, oh, I can't say yes to that. Oh, I can't say yes to that. So we actually get invited to a lot of um, functions. Some some we do say yes to. Some we d- um, do say no to. But how we stay in our creative space, we literally meet every week. Um, sometimes the meetings are, are 1 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> you know, because she might have a thought. I might have a thought. So collectively... Um, and we have a pre-planned calendar. If you were to go to our website, you'll see our calendar events all the way until next year. Um, they're actually all the way until April of next year that we kind of sit down. And then we have individuals who we bring in from other cities to help with our events as well. Mm-hmm. So um, we do a lot of networking with individuals, um, go to a lot of networking events because you have to stay relevant. And then collectively between our social media platforms, we're on it like – I'm like, I said, oh, you got your stuff on auto flow. It's just posting, <laughs> posting, posting. And I'm like, aren't you at work doing something? She's like, girl, that's on autopilot. I said, okay, good, good, good. Because I'm about to put a post up. But so the moment I think about doing something, she already has thought about the process of it. So collectively, that's how we kind of work it out. That's how it's supposed to be. Totally. Get, get in that automation game. Mm-hmm. So let's automate this train a little bit forward. Let's talk about the 5, 10, 20 year plan. Where do you see Fontenet and yourself? Where do you see all these entrepreneurial ladies that are p- taking you know, the reins of the knowledge y'all are giving from the SEO to the website development, everything that y'all are sewing into, the graphics, things like that. Where do you see this enterprise five twin, 20 twin, twin, <laughs> 20 years from now? Actually, like I said, we do see Elevating Women um, it being turned into an actual franchise, you know, and being picked up in other cities. But again, we want to make sure that we have all the intricate, intricate parts together. Sure. Um, we do have memberships um, that individual can take part of. Um, and as far as my personal five, 10 year, 20 goal mm-hmm. um, for elevating women is, Put it you on know, the table. with next year, I do want us to be in our brick and mortar. Okay. Um, so we can start seeing our clients there. And then our 10 year goal, you know, I just want to see us continue to, you know, um, ascertain more members, continue to grow. Um, we're already, well, it's already in the making right now. Our nonprofit is Elevated Elite, mm. and that's our mentorship for um, young adults. Elite is standing um, stands for Empowering Leaders, Initiating Talent Through Education. Okay. So basically what we do is we pair uh, a student who is excelling in school with a student who is not doing so well so they can have that kind of bond and I mentorship. Mm-hmm. I think we fr- we 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 – we start our companies, we start our business, but we forget about the strategic give back. Yes. And it's so important, especially in our community. Can you talk a little bit about, because you talked about this, you gave them a little, you wet their whistle a little bit in the pregame, but mm-hmm. you talked a little bit about sponsorship. How do you secure sponsorship for your business, if you're a nonprofit or a profit? Mm-hmm. Talk a little bit about that. So how I would advise um, an individual, whether it's a for-profit or nonprofit, any event that you're trying to do, I would go by getting sponsorship with the people that you know first. You know, don't be afraid to pick up that phone 
ask individuals for you know to to help you out with your mm-hmm. with your endeavor. So a seed. Yes, mm-hmm. so a seed, give a seed, hmm. and then go move up to the higher places. You know, okay, who do I buy my car from? Where do I shop all the time? You know, what other big businesses do a lot of philanthropy? You know, Kendra Scott is one of those big ones that does a lot of philanthropy. And she was just like, you know, oh, that sounds like a good thing. Here, here's some jewelry. Here's this. So, um, and I, I really like her philanthropy model of what she does. And I think um, as entrepreneurs, when we get to that level, we should have or even adopt that same type of model for our give back efforts. Um, and when my friends, they have any type of philanthropy or donation effort, I'm the first one who I make the check out to, you know, mm-hmm. because I, I believe in, Again, sowing those seeds and helping out my, you know, my my friends with their businesses. But again, how you go about getting the sponsorship? Start your mom and pop stores. Start within your community because if you um, show them how you're giving back to the community, they want to get on board with that, and it makes them feel good as well. Come on, center of influence. Come on. <laughs> you know something that was so powerful that you just said is that you have the ability to write a check to help out other fellow friends who have uh a, a, a event going on so that mm-hmm. you can also support the community but in order for you to do that that means you got to have your finances in order right yes speaking of finances mm-hmm. this portion of the show is sponsored by our good friends at the houston housewives of finance did you know that only four states in the united states offer financial education 33 percent or more than 77 million of americans don't pay their bills on time 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they do not have enough in their savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new new age of financial services. Good deal. Why? Because... They take, they care, take of care of us. Me, you, yeah, my mother-in-law, bunch of people. Get everybody. Get your money right, folks. TKB, yes. folks. Oh, yes. Get your I'll money up. So a C. Get your money right. <laughs> and Shout out to UGK. We're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back. Okay, listen. So, I'm, you, I'm, you know I'm about to take her, right? Let me see you, it. You know I'm about to take her. Let me see All right, it. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, come on. Let me see it. So... Obviously, you and Ms. Fonson have done a lot. Y'all have grown a lot together. Y'all have sewn into each other's lives. Y'all having 1 a.m. meetings. <laughs> y'all, she's, she's automated, you strategic. Y'all doing things. Y'all are working in a synergistic pattern mm-hmm. to make things happen. And y'all are changing people's lives mm-hmm. each and every day. All at the mm-hmm. same time. But let's take some of them alphabets out of your name. Let's okay. take some of those degrees back. Let's take that meeting with Miss Fontanet off the table. Mm-hmm. Let's take all the opportunities you've made with sponsors and all the events that you've put on, all the entrepreneurs that you've touched, all the SEO that you've performed on people's websites. Let's take it all away. Mm-hmm. Let's take you back to the beginning, back to the basics, back to what we call square zero. Come on. Let's mm-hmm. take you back to zero. But I'm gonna leave you with the knowledge of the journey, and we'll hand you some seed money. Mm-hmm. What would you do differently the second time around Ooh. that you didn't do the first time? I think the second time around, especially if I had that seed money, talk about it. That I would definitely, definitely try to explore um, the option of having actual office building. Um, putting um, more in a, a, a promotional budget and that's about it. Okay. Those are two heavy that's things. Heavy. Yeah, that's, that's, really, that's, that's really about it because I think with having an a, a intact ideal promotional budget really helps a business flourish. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of the the footwork that I had to do to get me to this point, mm. I think I could have um, 
I could have rested. Okay. Mm. I feel that. A little rest goes a long, yes. long way. way. Yes. Sewing back into self. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, I think, forget about that. It's so important and so powerful. Mm-hmm. But I love that. The office building and, of course, the promotions, the marketing. People don't understand the power of marketing. People don't mm-hmm. understand that you sow some into the marketing. You will reap benefits of that if it's done correctly. Exactly. Tenfold. Reap. Tenfold. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I, that's pretty much what I would have done differently. Um and hired a a team to you know to kind of do some of the actual footwork that I was doing myself mm-hmm. along with Fontanet. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, one, two, third, the third time. For the third time, <laughs> <laughs> she would not have been even been on the agenda to even you know to be employed. Maybe one of her kids, mm. uh, well, her son, maybe. Dang, sis. <laughs> but, it but is what it I'm is. I'm like you, you would no, she wouldn't not even the applicant, but. <laughs> Don't kill me, Wendy. I love you. Uh, <laughs> you my big sister. Um, but no, I yeah, those little things I would have done a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I would have tried to come up with a a composite plan, which is going to kind of lead me into one of those gems that we were talking about earlier. W- it would be to like okay with having this and a lot of people un- don't understand when you do a lot of consulting it's kind of hard because um you want to get different contracts and sure. you want to get those government contracts but you don't know what type of certification to get to get those contracts please talk about it so a lot of certifications that are out there you really don't need um so it depends on who you want to do business with mm. so for me um I'm more so looking to do business with entrepreneurs and startups. So to help them with their branding, their image, and also help them with their business development. So I would try to hone in on individuals um, in the state sector and not really the um, in the city sector, not the government sector, because I'm not trying to work with the whole federal government. But within my city, absolutely. So there are certifications that are just honing in on that. So the city of Houston has the woman-owned small business certification. But there are other certifications out there as well, and they are free for individuals um, like the um, Minority Business Enterprise, the DBE, which is Disparity Business Enterprise, Hub Zone um, certification. And Disparity Business Enterprise, a lot of people always ask, what does Disparity Business Enterprise mean? That means that you are doing business in a area that is under like rejudification mm. but you're putting back in dollars into that community to build it up so you can get a certification for that and you can hone in on those city contracts for that mm-hmm. that's a hook right there people need to pay y'all better pay attention to this last part right there because that'll take you somewhere literally literally you bid you on a contract and you get it you talk about changing you overnight mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. immediate transformation exactly and a lot of individuals who um with um the effects of harvey they were able to hone in on a lot of contracts through the city um for just going and cleaning up they had a maid service so they just went and cleaned up someone's home um or even their they turned their residential business into a commercial business without even have to restructuring their business plan okay sometimes you can do it exactly we, we call that the pivot hey <laughs> the pivot <laughs> you saw it <laughs> tracy speaks Man. my dear my dear with all of the the calamity that you've been through mm-hmm. in the beginning with the employment situation mm-hmm. with your sister <laughs> <laughs> and and having to pivot having to transition in your life, Mm -hmm. being able to come back strong, partner, and elevate. You educated to elevate. We at this table Mm -hmm. would like to officially coin you, my dear, a startup master. Oh, wow. So let the good people know that are tuned in right now, whether they're on their couch watching this or in their car listening to this, let them know where they can get in contact with you on all your social media platforms. So if you want to get in contact with this startup master, you can (laughs) find me on Instagram at Tracy Speaks, on Twitter at Tracy Speaks, on Facebook at Tracy Still Speaks, and our website is Women, the number two, Elevate dot club and our instagram is elevating women and it'll say houston empowerment group and you can also email me at t seals like navy seals at women 
the number two elevate dot club and I will be more than happy to assist you or my business partner will be more than happy to assist you with any questions that you may have, whether it's the business development for a for profit or nonprofit, whether it is branding, properly branding, um, imaging consulting, web development, certification, um, who to do business with. You know, we'll be more than happy to help you with that. Dopeness. That's Straight what up I heard. dopeness. Nothing but take been your unle- business to the next level. Been unleashing level. dopeness on everybody's business. Yeah. <laughs> Passing out like, you get, <laughs> some, you get some dopeness and you get some dopeness. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how it's supposed to be. KG, where can the good people reach good you at? Good people, you can catch me on LinkedIn. You can catch me on the book. You can catch me on the gram at KOG Speaks. And you can even check out my YouTube channel at KOG Speaks TV. Check me out. What about you, G? Uh, you, you all, you, you, we'll talk about that. You, you got me. So you can reach me anywhere online. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. You can find me at your local corner store slinging these podcasts. We're doing it, folks. We're getting out here. And remember, if you got any questions, about what we do each and every week at this table, shoot us an email, startupmasters at thesphere.tv. Of course, across social media, at the Sphere TV. Use the hashtag startupmasters, and we'll be sure to get with you. Good folks, this has been another great episode. We will see you all next time. Take care. Peace.